If you're looking to host a JSON file or an API on GitHub, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you all the steps you need. So let's climb in. So to host a JSON file or an API over on GitHub, you're going to go over and uh, let us create a repository. So right over here on the top, you'll see it says new. This will allow you to create a new repository. Let's go ahead and just call it API one, two, three. And we're going to go make sure that it's public and we're going to create a repository. Now, once your repository has been created, you'll have the option to either create a new file or upload an existing file. We're going to select the create a new file and in over here we are going to just make sure we're adding our data. You can now also give your file a name. I'm going to just make sure I'm sticking to the same name. So it's API123 and we're going to just say commit changes and again commit changes. Now again these names, these file names are just for example purposes. We can now go up to settings on the top of our page. You're going to look for pages on the left side over here and you're going to look under source. Make sure that it's selected on the deploy from a batch and just underneath the branch, you're going to look where it says none. You're going to use that drop down menu. You're going to click on main. Make sure that it says forward slash root and you're going to click on save. Now this process may take up to 30 seconds, maybe even longer. And what will start happening is your page is now being deployed. So you will see a pop up message here stating that your page is actually um, available and it's live. What you can actually do additionally to that is just refresh your page. So you can go um, to the top of the page here and just hit refresh and you'll see that it'll pop up over here. All right, we are now live. So if you go ahead now and you just say visit site, you'll see as it comes up here, it gives you the 404 error. Now what you need to do is go back here, go into code on the top over here and over here where it says your file name or your page name, you're going to just go ahead. You're going to select this. Use control C to copy it. We're going to go back in over here, as you can see to this page and we're just going to add that in over there. All right. And we we'll click enter again. This may not show up immediately. It may just need a few seconds just to deploy.